Hey there, in this video, we are going to be looking at adding and subtracting vectors. Now to find out how to do this, stay tuned. Welcome to Rise Up Namobia, my name is Matt Yanata, aka the resistor of bad and the lover of good, hashtag dark and lovely underscore, walk by faith and not by sight. So, what do you do when you are given two vectors and you are asked to add the two vectors? Now when you are asked to add this is actually very easy because what you do is you can just use the head to tail method. So how can you do that? Now since you are given m plus n, you go to the n. Okay, since you are given the vectors on the diagram, go to vector n on the diagram. And then you join that vector, like the vector n's tail to the vector m's head. Now, if you don't know how to identify the head and the tail of a vector, check out the link down below in the description. Okay? Now, I suggest for you to write n, like the column vector of n, as a column vector. Okay? So, if you write n as a column vector, we'll be starting here. So, you'll be moving to the right 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And since you are moving to the right, it will give you a positive 5. And then on the y-axis, you will not move, so it will be 0. So again, if you don't know how to write a vector as a column vector, check out the second link down below in the description. Okay? Now, the reason I tell you to write it as a column vector is because when I'm explaining this, I'm doing this graphically. Meaning, I can move this vector n. You know? Just by moving it up. And then joining it head and tail to vector m. But for you, in your book, the vectors might be a lot on the squared paper. And there might be a distance. I mean, you won't even be able to move it graphically. So what you do is, you use your column vector. And then you go to the head of m. And then you write it there. Because if you use this column vector, and you use the head of m as a starting point. On the x-axis, it will be 5, positive 5, so you know you will be moving to the right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then on the x-axis, because it's 0, you won't move. Okay? Now, after you join these two vectors, you go here, and then you draw your line. Okay? After drawing your line, remember, M is like your starting point. So you draw your arrow from there, and then that vector that is formed is M plus N. Why do I mean it's m plus n? Because this vector going towards this side is m. And then added to it is another vector n. Now the vector formed by adding these two vectors is m plus n. Okay? Let's quickly check it in column vector form. Let me just quickly erase this. Good. Now in column vector form, if you are to write the vector m as a column vector, this will be your starting point. So you'll be moving 1, 2, 3, 4 lines to the left. Meaning, because you are moving to the left, it will be negative 4. And then you move 1, 2, 3. 3 lines going downwards, so it will give you negative 3. So that is for vector m. Okay? Now, plus vector n. Let's write vector n as a column vector. So, vector n starting point is here. So, we go again. So, we'll go to the right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Which means it will give us a positive 5. And then on the y-axis, we won't move because it's a 0. So, we write down the 0. Okay? Now, what I want you to do is... I want you to take out your calculator and then you calculate this for me. What is this vector? Let's say, write negative 4 plus 5. And then you write your answer somewhere. I also want you to write your answer of negative 3 plus 0. Okay? So what vector do you get? Good. Now to confirm that the answer that you got there by using your calculator is the correct answer. When you go back to your diagram, and then you check the column vector of, like you write uh, m plus n in 
column vector form, it should be able to give you the same answer as the answer you got calculating with the calculator. Okay, so whatever answer you wrote down there. Now, in case you didn't write down the answer, let me give you five extra seconds just to pause the video and then you calculate negative four plus five and then negative three plus zero. So pause the video now. Okay, so the column vector for m plus n will start here. Because the vector is starting here, this is the tail. So we count on the x-axis, we start always on the x-axis, so we go 1. So we are moving 1 to the right. Remember if you don't know how to write a vector as a, a column vector, check out the link where down below in the description. So we are moving 1 to the right. So we'll have 1, a positive 1, because we moved to the right. Okay? And then from there we move 1, 2, 3. Going where? Going downwards. And remember when we go down, it becomes negative. So it will be negative 3. And that's your final answer. Is this the same answer that you got when calculating with a calculator? If yes, and then you are on the right track, and then your answer is also correct. Okay? Check out another example. How about when you have a certain vector c and another vector d and you are asked to subtract the two vectors? What do you do? Now number one, what you want to do is you want to check which two vectors are you subtracting? You are subtracting c minus d. So you go to the d. Okay? You change this d to a negative d. Now once you change this d to a negative d, the direction of the vector also changes into the opposite direction, which means like this. Now notice that I didn't move to any other square. I did not extend this vector. I just changed the what? The direction. Because first it was facing this side, but now it's facing this side. Okay? After you change the d to negative, you want to introduce addition, which is what we did on the previous slide. So what we are going to do is we are going to say c plus negative d. Where is our negative d? Our negative d is this one. Where is our c? Our c is this one. So a lot of people might ask, what do you mean c minus d is equal to c plus negative d? Look, it's actually the same. It's just that uh, people get confused when we use variables or let me say letters. Let's quickly use numbers. So for example, this C is 7 minus D and then we represent D with a 5. What will your answer be? What is 7 minus 5? It's 2, right? Good. Now, what if we used again the same number? which is c for 7 plus negative 5 for like d here. Type it into your calculator and see what answer you will get. What is 7 plus negative 5? You still get a, a positive 2, right? Now good. So that proves that c minus d is equal to c plus negative d. Okay? Good. Now that we know that we need to add, remember what I told you on the previous slide? Because for me, I can just move this vector anyhow I want. For you, on a piece of paper, you can't move this vector. So it's always uh, advisable to write down this vector as a column vector. So which means it will be 1, 2. Positive 2 on the x-axis and then 1, 2, negative 2 on the y-axis for vector negative d. Okay? So after you do that, you come here and then you rewrite or you re-represent uh, re it here starting from the head of vector c. Okay? But for me, I won't do that because I can just move this. I'll move it up there. Good. Now from there, you draw your line here and this vector that is formed here is our vector c minus d. 
okay now let's quickly write it down in column vector form so let's start with our vector c if you are to write vector c as a column vector we'll start here and then we'll move one two three we moved to the right so it will be a positive three and then from here we move one two three so again we moved up so it will be a positive 3 also. Okay. Plus. Because now this vector is a vector C. Plus negative D. So let's go to negative D. Where is negative D? Negative D is this one. So let's write down the column vector form of negative D. We'll start here. And then we go 1, 2. So we move two lines to the right meaning it will be positive 2. So we write down that positive 2. And then from here we move 1, 2. Two lines going down, meaning it will be negative 2, because we are going down on the y-axis. Okay? Now from there, I want you to do what we did on the previous slide. Take out your calculator, and then you add 3 plus 2, gives you what? And then 3 plus negative 2 and then write it down okay and then we'll check now for us to confirm if our answer is correct the answer that we are getting from the calculator we always need to check our vector c minus d if it's corresponding with the answer that you get from the calculator and then we are on the right track or we are correct okay so where do we start we start over here so now let's write down the column vector form of the vector C minus D. So we start here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now since we moved to the right, it will be positive 5. So we write down our positive 5. And then from there, on the y-axis we'll be moving 1 going up. So since we are going up, it will be a positive 1. So we write down positive one and that's our final answer so is this the same answer as the one you got on the calculator if yes then you are correct okay but if this is not corresponding with uh, when you were adding with a calculator and then you did something wrong somewhere somehow okay so that's why it's always uh, very very important to have the background knowledge of how to represent a, a vector on a squared paper and how to write it in column vector form okay so if you're not familiar with those check out the links down below in the description and watch the first parts of this uh, vector topic so that you understand it better okay so did you find this video helpful if yes please do give us a like subscribe to our channel Turn on that notification button to be the first to see the next upload. Share with friends, family and classmates. And remember, together we rise to higher heights, apart we will stay behind. Cheers.